Good morning, Beverlyites. Good morning. I think most of you know me. I'm Mary Ann Holak. I'm the director of the Senior Center, and I'd like to welcome you all today. Um, if I could have ordered a day with less heat, I would have. Um, but I do have a question for all of you. Who brought their bathing suit? Did anyone bring their bathing suit? Okay, well I was gonna, okay, a couple people. We can just go take a duck before lunch, how's that? <laughs> um, I really would like to thank the mayor and his team and the commis Commissioner Collins for making sure we had some fans and some extra water today and we actually also have some extra emergency management personnel with us. So make sure if you're not feeling well you let us know so we can get you to the right um, EMTs. This is a great day for all of us. I can see that many of you are already over there at the sponsor tables. Uh, but before the day gets away from me, I do want to thank our sponsors who have made this day possible. I also want to thank Victoria Guskowitz, who has been our brand new assistant director for all of two months. And she jumped in with grace and poise to plan this event with us. Eric DePiro, Suzanne Lanzikos, Gail Murley, Chip Palmer, and all the staff at the Senior Center, and the many, many volunteers who are here helping us today. Please thank them when you see them for all that they've done to make this day possible. I want to thank Bev Cam. I want you to all smile for the camera when the camera is um, turned your way. And a couple of things. We are planning to recycle everything today. So please do not throw your plastic water bottles or any of your waste into a regular barrel um, because we will be composting the food and we will be recycling the water bottles. We have a photo bo booth for you today, so go over and get your picture taken on the water side. Hopefully we'll get the water in the background for you. And what's a party without some great music? And I know many of you know Brian Corcoran. He's a, a favorite performer at the Senior Center. And when I reached out to him about performing at Se Senior Day in the Park, he told me he was in Ireland, but he'd be back in time. So welcome back, Brian, and thank you so much. Enjoy the music. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, girls. Hi, right away. One of my favorite movies called Going My Way, Mr. Bing Crosby. How would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. And be better off than you are. Would you rather be a mule? Now a mule is an animal with long funny ears He kicks up at everything he hears His back is brawny and his brain is weak He's just plain stupid with the stubborn streak And by the way, if you hate to go to school You may go up to be a mule How would you like to swing on star? Beams home in a jar and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a pig? Now, a pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. Well, he's got no manners and he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. And if you don't care a feather or a fig, you may go up to be a pig. Here we go, girls. How would you like to swing on a star? Carry blue beams home in a jar. And be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? Now a fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. He can't find his neighbor read a book. Well, the food of people is his only thought And though he's slippery, he still gets caught But if that's the sort of life that you wish You may go up to be a fish 
And all the monkeys hunt in the zoo Every day we meet quite a few So you see it's all up to you You can be better than you are You could be swinging on a star Little swinging on a star to start the day folks Dignitaries to come up to the, uh, the stage right now so we can get ready to announce the senior of the year. So if you are here today with a citation for our senior of the year, I'd like you to please come up to the podium. Okay, I'm going to ask you all to take your seats, please. Please take your seats. You know, this annual program stands in the way of lunch. So let's get the show on the road, as they say. <laughs> okay, the first order of business in, is that our wonderful board member, Baron Whitfield, is going to lead us in the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem. And he got home at 4 o'clock this morning from a tour all over Europe with his band. So thank you, parents, for being here. And I'd like to invite you to come on up and kick off our program. Here he comes. And the flag is obstructed. <laughs> There's an obstructed flag there. All right, everyone, stand up, please, for the... National Anthem. Hope, you, hope you're going to enjoy yourself this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a wonderful thing to be honored to sing the National Anthem for. So here we go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say that our spang star oh sorry so, didn't mean to do that our star spangled banner yet wave for the land and of the free and the home of the Thank you very much. Thank you so much to Baron Whitfield, who is a, a true rock and roll jazz star in Europe, and he's on European time this morning. So thank you, and go home and get some rest, Barons. Um, this is the time that we get to salute the city of Beverly and its older adult residents, uh, by, of which there are 10,000 strong right now. <laughs> we're 25% we're of the population these days. I, and, and yes, I do count myself in that population. Um, but anyways, it's a hot day. And what I thought we'd do to start is to make a toast. Toast to your health. Everybody pick up a glass of water, please. 
everyone take a drink of that water. Let's toast to good health and good friendship and growing old and embracing our age right here in Beverly, Massachusetts. Cheers. So the Senior of the Year Award is given out annually to a person or persons who have enriched the community by their commitment and their efforts to improve the lives of the citizens and organizations in our city and beyond. And we try to keep the honoree or honorees a secret up until this very moment. So someone in this crowd today will be quite surprised when our board chairperson starts reading a bio of the uh, contributions, the volunteer contributions of our senior of the year. So I am gonna ask Blair Smith, who is the chairperson of the Council on Aging Board, to, to join me here at the podium and announce the senior of the year. Thank you, Blair. Well, the older I get, the more comfortable I become in front of a microphone. And, and the temptation to take advantage. Um, I'd like to make another toast before I announce the senior of the year. Um, part of that is a toast to hydration. Make sure you know where your water bottles are. But the toast I'd like to make is to Marianne Holak and to thank her for another occasion like this after so many years for her commitment and dedication seeing us through COVID and helping us find our new normal. So raise your glasses to Mary Ann. Now for the business that I have come here for. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? The 2022 Seniors of the Year would have no problem answering Dr. King's question. To this volunteer power couple, volunteering is a way of life. They embody the criteria for the Senior of the Year Award by exhibiting community spirit, leadership, and dedication in all of the volunteer work they undertake. So let me tell you about the many ways they give of their time. Married for more than 15 years, they have spent the majority of their life in retirement and service to others. One member of this power couple is described as laid back, relaxed, and especially enjoys time spent with the grandsons. The other member is gregarious, determined, hardworking, and very close to her granddaughter. The person who nominated this couple for the Senior of the Year Award regards them as the Senior Center's first responders. They are always smiling, happy, helpful, energetic, motivated, engaging, and willing to lend a hand to do whatever is asked of them. In this way, they help to ensure that the Beverly Senior Center continues to flourish. Both members of the couple enjoyed long careers and were well regarded by colleagues. It's been said that they view retirement as a time to give back to the community, share kindness all the while while having fun with their peers. Whether it is helping out at the Senior Center, organizing the Senior Center's first ever traveling bocce team, and, <laughs> and then lobbying and helping plan the new bocce court to be built at Livingston, Livingstone Playground in the wild side, this couple is always at the ready to volunteer their time and energy toward causes they believe in. In addition to their dedication to the Beverly Senior Center, they also help with the Wildside Civic Association's 4th of July preparations and volunteer their time for the annual Children's Easter Egg Hunt at O'Bear Park. They are also integral volunteers for Operation Troop Support in Danvers and in helping with the Salem DCF Office's annual Christmas party for foster children. Have you figured out our award attendees for 2022. If you guess the wondering, wonderful pairing of husband and wife, Rolly and Ruth Ann Brewer, you'd be correct. So
So please join me in continuing to congratulate the Brewers on this special occasion and welcome them to the stage. Is that when you knew it was you, when I said you were a power couple? <laughs> um, we have a lot of people here to congratulate you today, and we're going to start with uh, Mayor Cahill. So Mayor Cahill is here, Councilor and Councillor Bowen as well, um, who is here um, okay. representing the Beverly City Council and City Council President Julie um, Flowers. Oh, and Todd Rotundo's here too, and he has a story he might be able to tell about those brewers. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Now? No, no, no. Thank you, Marianne. Uh, Ruth Ann and Rolly, congratulations. This is a special moment for me, especially. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the council and uh, Council Flowers, who actually wrote the resolution, she wasn't able to be here today, but she wants to know she wishes she was. Fortunate to have uh, Council Bowen with me on the stage. Um, the resolution we're going to present to you in person at council at our next meeting, if you're okay with that. But I do want a few couple of things because there is a special moment. 15 years ago, we were able to do your uh, catering, your event for your uh, anniversary, or for your wedding, really. Um, but a couple of things I want to just mention about what uh, Ruth Ann and Rolly was very special for me is we built a pot, we did over a park at Livingstone and we needed to build something. And Ruth Ann said, we need a bocce court. We need it for the Council on Age and we need a place where there's shade. So Ruth Ann was really the impetus of us getting that there. Um, we've been very fortunate to have both of them at all different types of events at the year um, show a couple of years back. I was here, no matter where it was, you'd see her there selling raffle tickets for the Rileside Civic Association. It was at the membership desk this year. We're very very fortunate to have the both of you here, so I just want to say congratulations and thank you. Hello everybody, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, listen, just a, a couple of quick thanks and then I want to, I, I want to add my congratulations uh, to the Brewers. First, to Barron's, thank you. Barron's Whitfield, as Marianne said, he, he's a board member at the Council on Aging, raised his family in Beverly, lives in, in uh, downtown. But Barron's has played little clubs to arenas to giant stadiums over his career in rock and roll. He, I remember seeing him at Grover's, but he's, he's a real rock star. And to have him uh, here to do the national anthem, thank you, Barron's. And thanks to... Thanks to Marianne and the fantastic team of the Council on Aging, the staff, the volunteers, the board members. Thanks to all the young volunteers who are here to help deliver the water and the meal today. Thanks, yeah, thanks to all of you. Thanks to Councilor Rotundo and his brother Michael who are in their day job as Cafe Salerno are, are our caterers today. Thanks for, to you for all your work. Uh, and also thanks, thanks to our public safety and EMS folks who are here to make sure we all enjoy and are healthy today at, at, at this event. And thanks to our volunteers who make sure that we're composting and recycling everything involved in today's event, which is so critically important. Now to add my congratulations to Ruth Ann and Rolly, I have to tell you, I don't know why they're so hard to find. They came to City Hall and they challenged us to bocce a few years ago. They beat us very easily, and then they refused a rematch. I, 
I think they just like the bragging rights. So we're going to have a we're going to have a, a, a rematch. I don't think it'll go any better for for my office, but mostly because they're ringers. But listen, they they do so much great work in our community, and and you know we all have the information, we know what they've done, but from your volunteer work with Operation Troop Support, helping the Salem DCF office's annual Christmas party, you know, a couple other things that haven't already been mentioned, volunteering at the Senior Center, um, just, you know, being a part of the fabric of Beverly and always jumping in to help where help is needed. We are so grateful for you. And what I get to do, this is one of the most enjoyable things I get to do is, because they're so wonderful and because they've been rightly and, and very deservedly named Seniors of the Year, now therefore, this is the official piece, in recognition of their volunteer efforts in exhibiting community spirit, leadership, and dedication to serving others, Rolly and Ruth Ann have been selected as 2020 to Beverly Seniors of the Year. In honor of this occasion, I, Michael P. Cahill, Mayor of Beverly, drum roll, do hereby proclaim August 4th, 2022 as Roland and Ruth Ann Brewer Day in the city of Beverly. Congratulations and thank you both. are very lucky to, today to have the Honorable Seth Molson, our Congressman our, from the House of Representatives here um, with us today. So welcome. How are you doing with those two little girls this summer? They're doing great. Thank <laughs> you. It's an honor to be here. And I'll be brief. I'll just say this. Look, Congress cannot agree on much, but we can agree on honoring you. You're amazing for this community, and we're so grateful for your continued service to this community and our country. Thank you. And we also have our lovely Senator Joan Lovely with us today, the Honorable Joan Lovely. Thank you, Mary Ann. I just also want to express my gratitude to you and the entire Council on Aging, all the volunteers here today who are putting on this just wonderful, wonderful event. And to the Brewer family who walked in, what a surprise. Was it a surprise? I'll bet it was. I did. Well, I did know. I did. Um, but it, just very recently. But I, too, want to be uh, here today. I'm so honored to be here to honor you for all of your volunteerism, all that you have done for the Council on Aging in the City of Beverly. And I want to present each of you with a, with a Senate citation, recognizing you as being named as the 2022 Beverly Council on Aging Seniors of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you, Senator Lovely. And now I'd like to have the Honorable Jerry Paracella, our Mass State Representative for Beverly. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks to all the volunteers and, and all the staff for putting this together. This is great. I think I might get in trouble if I don't do this, so let me make sure I give a shout out to my mother who's sitting right over there, Marianne. <laughs> thanks for everything, Mom. I think that uh, Senior Center and Marianne does a better job than the CIA in keeping a secret. Nobody knew it. They, they, they had no idea. I ran into Roly today and I was just chatting with him. I had to bite my tongue, you know, because I almost was like, congratulations. I'm like, no, no, no. But I, uh, I too, want to uh, present citations to, uh, to both of you. Uh, just thank you for all you do for our community. You make Beverly a better place because of your presence in the city. And I, too, have citations from the Massachusetts House of Representatives for each of you to thank you for all you've done for Beverly and for our community. Thank you so much. And we actually have the Honorable Essex County Sheriff with us today, Kevin Coff Coppinger. And, the, and his wonderful staff assistant, Mo Pratt, who always comes dressed in uniform. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. And I asked Mo if he had a little air conditioning unit in that uniform. He said he did, so I think he's okay. Um, 
I also want to extend my thanks to the Council of Aging here in Beverly and all the volunteers. This is tremendous, and congratulations to the both of you. As Sheriff, many of you know, I do run the Jail and House of Correction up at Middleton. I do have some extra rooms. I was going to offer you the weekend of your choice, three square meals a day in a jumpsuit, but i got to be honest, I can't compete with the view behind us, so I'll put that on hold. But uh, on a personal note, Rolly, I need a favor. I have a family reunion coming up at the end of the month. Bocce is a main event. I'm not good at it. I may call you for a few tips if you would. Awesome. I need a partner, so we may have to drag him in there. So, hey, on behalf of the Essex County Sheriff's Department and all our employees and the Essex County population here, I want to present you with this citation for all your hard work, your dedication, your community spirit, your leadership. I, I, in the, um, your resume there, they call it a power couple. That's what you folks are. Unbelievable what you do for everybody. Your hearts are of gold. Thank you so much for all you're doing. Congratulations. also have Adam Frank here today who's representing our Secretary of Elder Affairs Elizabeth Chen for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts so thanks for being here Adam hello Ruth Ann. hello Rolly I bring congratulations from Secretary Elizabeth Chen of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Elder Affairs and I can tell just from my couple hours here today what a dedicated vibrant community this is so for the two of you to stand out here in Beverly you must be really something special congratulations I do, I do have to mention that I heard that um, that Rowley loves spending time with three handsome grandsons. So there they are in the front row, I believe. <laughs> and where's Marissa? And Marissa is here as well. Uh, Ruth Ann is very close to her granddaughter. So thank you very much for being here today. I want to thank all of our dignitaries who made time out of their schedule to come out on this hot day. And I want to ask Ruth Ann and Rolly if you'd like to say anything. You don't need to. But if you'd like to. She says thank you. <laughs> Do you want to say it in the mic? <laughs> she'll make, she'll have us, her speech ready at the city council chambers, right, Ruth Ann? <laughs> okay. So we are going to serve lunch now. Um, hopefully take some photos with your family members. And after lunch, we'll be drawing our door prizes and serving some ice cream sandwiches. We are going to try to wrap up a little bit early today because we realize that it's a really hot day. But thank you all for being here. I love this day. It's my favorite day of the year, but um, don't ask my staff what I was saying about it a few days ago, because they might tell you a very different story. But this is a great day, and thank you, Rolly and Ruth Ann, for all you do. I'm so happy we could surprise and honor you. Enjoy your lunch.